Farm Boy began its humble beginnings in only a 300 square foot facility. It's been 35 years of excellent service and they've definitely branched out within Ontario. Here's a little bit more on the celebration. We opened on December 2nd, 1981 and we were a 300 square foot produce store only. The uh, opening day I remember like it was yesterday. It was a beautiful day, 70 degrees outside. Uh, we opened our doors at 9 o'clock and the minute we opened the doors customers just came in and the comments were so positive and people were so happy to see a, a produce store with such fresh produce and uh, embraced us, you know, everything we did along the way it was embraced whether we brought in our cheese department, whether we brought in the new deli departments, the customers supported us from day one, they loved what we were doing and it just kept growing. When I was 21 years old, my first time on an air, airplane, it was a big event for me. We were flying down to New, Newark, uh, New Jersey, and um, we went to this store called Stu Leonard's. Stu Leonard's was a great influence. We had read about Stu Leonard's in, our, in a book, and he was known as you know, one of the best retailers in the USA. So we went down there, and we got so many ideas. I remember me and my brother Norman coming back so excited. We just couldn't wait to get back home to try some of these ideas. So they were a huge influence. They're the ones that really got us onto animation, not animation, but animatronics and animation as well, right? Like when you're, when you're doing a, whether you're doing cooking bread or you're making walk in front of a customer, that's animation. So they were really good at animation and they brought a lot of fun to the shopping experience. So they were a big influence for us. So when we came back, we started introducing stuff like the farm boy, the animatronic farm boy. I remember this day, you know, when we opened uh, it was a big event. We did like a re-grand opening when we brought in our, our animatronics and, and the customers loved it. And they loved that it was different. It wasn't just a boring shopping experience walking up and down the aisles. Another one that was a big influence was Walt Disney. Uh, Walt Disney's experience to this day is still incredible. It's been a mentor of ours for years and continues to be a, a, great, um, a great place to look at for ideas and how a great business is, uh, is ran. So Walt Disney continuously uh, has influence on what we do. We try to bring, uh, whether it's a department that we're building, we'll try to have you know, the character and, and make sure that it has uh, the atmosphere we're looking for as well. Well, personally, it's a great accomplishment. I'm very, very proud of what we've accomplished. We've accomplished it with the people. It's not what I accomplished or what my brothers and I accomplished. It's really what the people here accomplished. We have people in this, uh, in this business that have been here for 35 years. We have Yvonne Belair here, who's uh, been walking the store right now, probably checking the produce and the, and the quality and making sure everything is up to the standards. It's been all about the people and the great leadership team that we've been able to put together. We've, we've been able to attract people that are, they believe in what we're doing. They love the concept. They think it's, uh, it's, you know, it's certainly something that they want to be part of. And therefore, you know, they have helped us grow. It's, it's all about the people. It really is. You know, we can say our slogan is all about the food, but the reality is that it's the people that put the food on the table and care about the food. We have to treat our people with respect and they treat the food with respect. So it's, uh, it's a great, great accomplishment for me. But more importantly, it's a great accomplishment that I see the people that have been with us for over 30 years are still with us. I think it speaks a lot to the company.